Uh, guys, what? <coughs> excuse me. What is up? So, we have got the summer update at the moment. My Xbox is updating it at this point in time of recording. So, we have got the GTA Online Los Santos Summer Special. I'm going to say right now that picture is beautiful. That's a very nice picture right there. Uh, what have we got? We've got. <coughs> Also, I'm reading this for the first time since looking at it. We've got Los Santos Summer Special in GTA Online. Los Santos is a city that has it all gets gets an extra dose of summer fun in the last update of GTA Online. Bring with bring in with it a host of new activities for mm, something gearheads and everyone in between. We've got 15 new vehicles. Uh, we've got the Lombardati Tigon, which looks very nice. Uh, can't really figure out what it kind of looks like already in game. It kind of looks like I don't even know, uh, but it looks very nice. Probably a supercar. We've got the Everate Everot Evetero Corquit something D10. Uh, which could possibly be a sports car, maybe. Uh, obviously, the F1 car being the De Classe DR1, being the open wheels, and the Vapid Peyote, Peyote Custom. So we've got probably what a picture from a super, picture from a sports, from an open wheel, and from a Benny's. Also vehicles including the Import Beta Dukes, which is very exciting. Albany Manana, Manana Custom, uh, Bravado Gauntlet Classic Custom, the Yosemite Rancher, which kind of sounds like a classic OG GTA vehicle making its way. Canis Seminole Frontier, which sounds like an off-roader. Bravado Yoga Classic 4x4, which is nice. A Dubria Landstalker XL. Benefactor Glandel Custom. A BF Club. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Pun Pun Puff something. FF. And a Benefactor BR8. In addition to new vehicles, mod shops around town will be adding 15 new types of off-road wheels 30 new sets of street wheels and a and new tire designs in their selections Ooh, so a bit like how the low rider and motorcycle wheels have the uh, white wall tires and some of them have just the right in we could be getting some different types very nice Along with six new co-op missions, which I will be going through every single bit of this uh, update in a separate video. This is just a quick brief of what it's about. Uh, nine new open wheel racetracks. Again, I'll be doing a video on most of them. Uh, open wheel race creator equipped with a BV, a bevy something of tools at their disposal. In the new open wheel race creator, Air Ad Adrenaline Junkies will now be able to design and craft their own high octane experience with custom tracks. Ooh, 60 new props, including racetrack, archways, pit stops. Oh, this is going to be good. There's going to be some good creators out there being, being crazed about this. All new business battles, which looks like it takes place on an aircraft carrier. So does that mean we have an aircraft carrier in free mode? I do not know, but I will be letting you know once my game uploads, well, updates, anyway. Uh, Diamond Adversary Series. So an adversary mode where it's like a team on team kind of thing inside of the Diamond Casino and Resort, which is very nice. Uh, two new arcade cabinets, one being Quad 3D, which is a GTA 
4 arcade game which I actually loved playing that at the time and uh, Axe of Fury I believe also becomes available a straight test design to help you prove to your friends slash ex-partner slash this something how big and strong and cool you really are new collectibles in the game as well which is always good for those hunters out there fixed and fixes and improvements a number of quality of life improvements have been added to GT online players can now return personal vehicles to storage via an option within the interactive menu that is fantastic you don't have to keep running away from your vehicle now players can now own up to eight different properties very nice more garage space mashing and accelerating prior to starting a race is no longer a visible strategy to gain a speed boost instead players can only receive a straight boost by timing their pedal press once go is shown or in the case of open wheel races when the countdown lights are removed so ma mashing and accelerating prior to the start I mean I do that anyway but that's just to see the engine spit fire does that mean that the bump boosting is still there probably requesting a Pegasus vehicle is more convenient than ever with many additional spawn locations being added to reduce your travel time to the closest available location that makes it much easier so does that mean when you're above the airport the plane or helicopter will actually spawn in the airport rather than the beach let's hope so when entering the Diamond Link Casino and Resort, punters will now be told how long they will need to wait before spinning the lucky wheel again. That's the last time we'll see a clock instead of a diamond through that for sure. What? When entering the Diamond Casino and Resort, punters will now be told how long they will... I don't know what that means. Uh, dozens of other changes have been implemented. Read full, read the full details in the patch notes here. All of Summer's gameplay and content updates are now available in game today, with bonuses, awards, and discounts featuring a new content to come across the summer and beyond until the next major GT Online update hits later this year. So we are expecting one before the end of 2020. Uh, the next chapter in GTA Online story and and an all new take on heists. So the heists are coming later on this year. Discounts and rewards. Take advantage of a barrage a barrage of new two times money and RP opportunities this week, and hit up Doc T's for the luxury cabin cruiser of your dreams. At the special discount okay so does it mean there's a new website then or is that just advertising the super yacht I don't know double RP and no double money and RP rewards uh, on them I'm guessing discounts we got 30% off yachts and yacht upgrades and modifications 30% <coughs> off master control terminal in the arcade 30% off the drone station in the arcade 30% off all arcade and arcade upgrades and modifications 30% off Benny's vehicle upgrades and 40% off large garages so not only have they given us eight well up to eight garages now that we can own we can also get for this week 40% so does that mean that this week will be going up until Thursday or is the GTA Online's event week now going to be on Tuesday I don't know what that means but this is all very 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 exciting once my game uploads I'm going to be very happy because I'll actually be able to do something my full throttle series will be coming back with the new types of vehicles bearing in mind the money that I spend on these cars I actually have to get so I probably won't be doing one on every single one but I will try to find some way of do I'll probably be able to do a test on all of them 
just not be able to modify all of them so we'll just see how it goes we'll have a look and see what the prices are and I will let it go at that so I will probably be doing another update video on this tomorrow being the cars and the prices uh, and everything so hopefully you all enjoyed please do leave a like if you did enjoy or if this was helpful in any way along with leaving a like and comment what your hopes are for this update if you're still waiting for your game to update what you're hoping for what you're hoping to see and if or not you're going to have a lot of fun I'm gonna have a lot of fun with the cars and the different types of customizations and I'm probably will going to have a lot of fun with the co-op missions as long as I can do them on my own because sometimes you prefer to just do missions on your own but whatever the summer update brings us I will see you all in the next one please leave a like comment and subscribe if you do good go on to enjoy and if you do continue to enjoy then please hit the notification bell to be notified on any future updates or videos to the channel and I will see you all in the next one